Hey, what's going on? Rich here with Summit Life Group. Want to give a quick tip for any brand new agents just getting started selling life insurance, or maybe you're an experienced agent just learning, you know, how to uh, sell life insurance over the phone, which is really where we uh, specialize is in, is in selling over the phone. You know, the, the tip I want to give you is the is to not be so concerned about being good when you first start. Uh, I find that a lot of people, this is true of all of us, like we, when, whenever we're doing something new, we, we feel like we need to be great at it when we get started. And the truth of the matter is anytime we do something for the first time, we're normally not very good at it. And, you know, think about when you first learned to ride a bike, right? You can, you can study and you can, ex you know, think about it and calculate. But at the end of the day, the only way you really learn to ride a bike is to get on the bike and get your knees scraped a little bit when you when you fall. And I think a lot of times the tendency for, for all of us when we whenever we think about doing something new is is we want to be perfect. We want to be good at it when we start. And it's very easy to overthink it, overanalyze. And listen, I'm a big believer in training. We we provide for our agent partners literally hours of content that you can go through and listen and train. And so all of that is important. You need training, but one of the things that my dad taught me a long time ago is you can't steer a parked car. And so a lot of people, you know, they get excited. Uh, maybe you just got your life insurance license. It's time to start selling life insurance, and you're going through training. You're buying courses. You're doing all these different things. Uh, you're studying all this, but but you're not taking any kind of action because you feel like you need to be good. And so I'm just giving you permission to say, go be bad at it. Uh, just just be willing to be bad so that you can get good. Yes, go through the training. Follow a proven system. You need to do that, but none of that matters if you're not taking action. So I just want to give you not only permission, but encourage you to go make mistakes. Not not wrong mistakes, not you know, not intentional mistakes, but just be willing to 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 stumble a little bit, right? And, and I think even even if you have a lot of experience, you know, David and I, we've we have uh, we've been at this a long time. Literally, have sold thousands of life insurance policies. But we we want to continue to innovate and challenge ourselves to level up. And so, you know, right now, even that is what got me thinking about it. Like I'm I'm testing some new things, trying some new things that are out of my comfort zone because it's different. And whenever it's new, guess what? I don't necessarily feel as good at it because it's the unknown. It's new. Uh, but 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 I'm giving. I gave myself permission. I said, Rich, don't worry about it. Go be bad at it so that you can get good at it. And so that's my message to you. If you're brand new, don't do, just find a system, find a process that you can that you can buy into, and then just go stumble. Go take action because the skill to do in this business really does come from the doing. You will never become great uh, just sitting and going through trainings. The only way you get good is to take action. And so that's my challenge to you. I hope it helps.